There we go. Hey guys. How you guys doing? Welcome to the story and promote Periscope, I suppose this is called. Uh, this is your bi-weekly stop for story prompts, writing tips, book marketing, and resources. I am very new to the Periscope universe, so I'm probably going to screw up consistently um, over the next, I don't know how many years or how much time I'm going to be doing this. But today is Write Your Story Wednesday. For, I'm going to talk about weekly writing tips and story prompts. Now, in case you don't know who I am, I'm Allie. Hello. I love good beer and Harrison Ford. I'm also a mom of 12 fur babies. One's back there behind me. That's Lucky Duck. Uh, you're going to see, I know you're going to see more than just Lucky as I'm talking here. And I also have a son who thankfully is at school. Hello. <laughs> um, what, else, what else do I do? Oh, I'm an author and screenwriter who gave up a long time career of being a professional intuitive reader and also a sex educator to pursue my lifelong love of storytelling. Uh, I've had some people tell me I'm crazy for doing that and well, you know, I'm not one who usually follows the conventional line of anything. So here I am. Hopefully it works. If it doesn't, well, I will try something else because that's what I do. Uh, gosh, what else can I say about myself before I, I jump into this? I don't know. Uh, I don't edit. Uh, I, I never, <laughs> rarely ever do my hair or put makeup on or make things just perfect because I'm human and very far from perfect. So what you see is what you get. If I start wearing a lot of makeup and you notice that my periscopes or anything else I'm doing is perfect, call me out on it because that's not the, the line I want to go on. Um, I, I've done something different. I'm deviating from my norm. So tell me and I will deviate back. I don't think it's going to happen. Okay, writing tip. What if? Now, I like those two words, what if. Not if I'm trying to what if myself if I've made a uh, correct or incorrect decision, but I like to use what if when it comes to stories. I like to use what if to come up with my story ideas. Uh, what if Lucky back there all of a sudden took a growth hormone and turned into a panther? What if Zena, who is behind the phone here, what if she suddenly shapeshifted into a dog? What if I decided not to get divorced from my ex-husband? What if, what if? And I think, eh, I know a panther, what the hell? <laughs> Could you imagine Lucky as a panther? That would be disastrous for all of us. See, she knows I'm talking about her. Look at her back there. That could be disastrous. Uh-huh, precisely. Uh, what else? But I use what if for my story ideas. And as I'm writing, whether it's nonfiction or fiction, for nonfiction, I'll get to a point and I think, I don't know what to put. You know, I have a block. So I say, what, what if my client or the reader wanted to attract a new love? What if my client or reader wanted to... Uh, talk to their soulmate. And then I write from that point on based on the what ifs. When it comes to characters, I like to put my characters in positions that make them feel very uncomfortable. You know, what if my new character for dreamers, what if she was plucked down on a back country road with no memory of what's going on and got hit by a car? You know, what if, what if works? So that is your writing tip of the day and oh also speaking of all the ideas I I'm old school on this I will admit but I put my what ifs into a shoebox because I usually have a lot of ideas and a lot of different ways my characters can go and new characters and everything so I have to what if uh, I what if a lot and I put it in a shoebox now so you could use um, if you don't want to put it in a shoebox and go to old school like me you can also put it on the, really lucky, you can also put it on um, the Evernote or, you know, the iPhones and Androids all come with some sort of writing program. You know, jot it down there, um, upload it to your Dropbox, 
and there she is because she's always here come on she's been asleep for the past two hours i knew she'd wake up as soon as i started talking to the camera yeah that's the lucky duck i'm turning on her heating pad okay so that is that is my writing tip for today now the story prompt I like to get people's imaginations, really? Do you mind? I'm working. She is an attention whore. I love her anyways. Um, okay, story prompt. I love to get people's imaginations going. Uh, imaginations are usually um, underutilized and uh, we're so logical nowadays that that part of us just falls away. So story prompts. Imagine that your car breaks down on a backcountry road in the deep south. There's no cell service and there is nobody around for miles. <laughs> just nobody. It starts to rain. You're outside your car and you're thinking to yourself, what the F can go wrong now? When you hear something behind you, you turn around and you see a horse with rider galloping straight towards you. What happens next? That's your story prompt. What happens next? What do you do? Do you talk? Do you run? Do you got a gun in your car? Do you pull them out and shoot them? What, what happens next? What I would like for you to do, if it's okay with you, is write down what happens next and email it to me at story at storyandpromote.com and I'm going to be choosing uh, at random winners to, I don't know, win stuff. I haven't figured out exactly what to win, but it's something free and free is always good. So again, story prop. You got that horse and the rider coming towards you. What do you do? You can't call anybody. You can't drive anywhere. So what happens? let me know. I'd be interested. <laughs> I don't know what I would do off the top of my head, so what would you do? Okay. Uh, I promise to keep these things kind of short and to the point, not my usual um, droning on of everything. But I do want to mention that I'm, I'm starting <laughs> this very big book. It's an actual book and not, a, not something on the Kindle. Um, the Great Book of Amber was recommended to me by one of my screenwriting mentors. And it is over a thousand pages. It's 1,258. And it's supposed to have, there's 10 books in here, 10 in one, The Complete Amber Chronicles. And if you like fantasy, it is supposed to be an absolutely excellent um, read. So, if you wanna read it along with me, <laughs> Let me know, and we can talk and discuss and whatnot. But I want to thank you for joining me here on Write Your Story Wednesday. Uh, if you prefer to have um, these episodes on audio, uh, eventually the Story and Promote podcast will be going up on iTunes. It's in the iTunes, you know, I'm thinking about it phase. And I'll post uh, Write, Your, Write Your Story Wednesdays, which is what this is, in audio on iTunes and then on Mondays I have market your book so it's market your book Mondays and write your story Wednesdays both under the story and promote podcast on iTunes and both here on Periscope Ta-da! I finished my first uh, Periscope I will get better at this as time goes on I hope so I guess I'm supposed to have start the little hearts hearts are good so heart me up baby I appreciate that. <laughs> but again, thank you for joining me. I hope you found the two tips, at least, you know, something interesting for you to think about today. And I will catch you in on Monday with Market Your Book. Have a fantastic weekend, guys. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.